Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're doing well. I send you so much love and light. So today we're gonna take a look and see what is the fall bringing to you in your love life? What is the energy gonna be like for you this fall season, 2023? We're gonna take a deep look into what kind of energy, experiences, whatever's coming your way from spirit. We're gonna tap into that energy for each sign and just see what your predictions are for your love life feel free to watch for your sun moon and rising sign if you find that that's helpful if you're looking for more messages from spirit so it's all about your love life this fall i do hope that you guys enjoy this reading thank you for returning and for anyone that's new here welcome to my channel my name is lynn this is passion of heart tarot i use tarot cards and my guides to get messages for you guys from spirit i make my living as a psychic medium professionally so i'm just glad that you guys enjoy the channel i hope you enjoy the readings let's jump right in we are going to start out with virgo's reading before i begin just want to take a moment to invite the white light of the Holy Spirit. All right, Virgo, your love life this fall let's see what are your messages you have love coming towards you so if you happen to be single watching this the overall energy coming your way is is offers in love romantic offers and you are going to meet someone very special if you haven't met this person already. Look at these energies coming through. Some of you could see your current person that you have on your mind now. See them really step up to the plate in a major way. If you've been wanting things to progress between the two of you, if you've been wanting them to just make you feel like you're more safe and you're secure and you believe in, in your partner's growth and potential, I see them rising to the occasion. And this fall, the two of you, your relationship is going to grow stronger and tighter than ever. For some of you here... That person that you have on your mind now, as I explain this energy to you, is going to step up to the plate so much that they even ask you, they even ask for your hand in marriage because there is marriage on the horizon because the empress is like being put in that position of a spouse, a lifelong partner. So definitely seeing your person step up to the plate where the two of you are getting along better than you ever have. And, you know, if that makes sense to me, especially if you've been wanting them to do more and show you more, or if you've just been wanting them to rise to their full potential. For others of you, say, say you don't have a particular person on your mind right now, and you're single watching this, and you're wondering if love is coming in. Absolutely, love is coming in. But but it's more than one person because I feel like there's this element of competition when it comes to you. And you're going to have someone, Virgo, that has their sights set on you. I don't want to make this sound wrong or bad when I describe this, but it's someone who feels like, uh, like they're going to beat out anyone that's competing for you and looking at you like you're mine and you belong to me. I don't mean that in like a possessive and controlling way, but I do see how much it boosts this person's ego when they feel like they beat out any competition that's around you and like they're the one that won you and you pick them and you choose them. But this person is going to absolutely put like their romantic efforts their best romantic efforts towards proving themselves to you. You, For someone here, you even have circumstances, and I feel like this is kind of what makes you fall for this person. 
is when you see how much they stick up for you, like there's going to be some kind of circumstance where you see this person stand up for you, even, even maybe have words with someone in your defense. And I can see for someone here how that just makes you feel like you're playing the role that you should and you have someone that truly has your back and like they're playing the role that you should because this is not to be taken lightly when you see the two of cups with the empress together that shows you a lifelong partnership and connection that's coming in for you some of you already know who this person is but like i said for others of you that are single or you don't have someone particular that you're thinking of, it's that set of circumstances. It's kind of like a knight in shining armor. You could definitely say that with the knight of cups coming through. And how this person is not going to let anything or anyone intimidate them. Because from their perception, when I tap into their energy, they feel like there's a lot of competition when it comes to you. So that's how I know if you are single, you're going to have more than one person that is interested in you, trying to pursue you. And I just see where your confidence is elevated to the next level. Where when you look in the mirror, you, you are very proud of yourself proud of who you are what you've become knowing uh your worthiness and what you bring to the table and then you have someone that is treating you with the utmost respect and treating you exactly the way you feel you deserve to be treated so whether this is in the form of a new person or someone that you're connected to now virgo that you have on your mind the two of you are going to be joined at the hip, and I don't mean that in a codependent way. I mean that in a healthy way, like best of friends, lovers, wanting to spend every free moment that you have together. You're going to be interested in the same things and have the same goals, same dreams. It's going to be someone that you click with. And it's like a next level kind of chemistry and connection. So for those of you that um, maybe have been waiting to see a change within your person or for things to like really blossom and grow, you are going to see how much they step up to the plate. You're going to see that growth because the relationship is going to be stronger than ever. So you ha your fall season is all about romance, love, feeling like you're protected, feeling you're, like you're safe, feeling like you're respected, feeling like you're you're with exactly who you want to be with. That's what I can see going on for you guys uh, this fall season. Okay, Virgo, I hope you enjoyed the messages. I love you guys so much. Next is Libra. Okay, my beautiful Libras. What? Is your love life going to be like this fall? Let's tap in and see your messages from spirit. Hmm, very interesting. There's, there's some things to tell you about that, that I have to kind of give you a little bit of caution just to warn you before you continue to watch because these energies are very similar to Virgo's readings. I wonder if any of you have a Virgo you're thinking of or you might have one coming towards you. Could be, you could be on the cusp, moon or rising or cross watchers. The overall energy as the three of swords. You could definitely end up breaking someone's heart or turning them down. So, so let me let me tell you about these warnings because I can see where you have someone that might be really caught up in you, Libra. Looking at you and having a lot of fantasies about you being theirs. I, I know that this, see, the thing about it is from your end, it feels like you don't feel the same way. It feels like it's unrequited. 
like you're not looking at this person in the same light that they're looking at you but let me just describe to you how this person looks at you and how they feel about you but then i don't like how they have this side to them that i can see and i'll get to that in a second but you have someone that's really awestruck by you and when they meet you or if they have already met you because you could see another side to this person but it's like oh my god where have you been all my life life i feel like you're supposed to be mine you're you're supposed to be with me so you have someone that i can see falls for you very hard and falls for you deeply and is just looking at you and even thinking like i want you to be the mother or father of my children i want you to marry me the thing about this this person's energy though is like i don't see you feeling like they're what you want i know they look at you and feel like you're everything that they want in a person that's why they're so dead set on making you theirs and like you know they will put in the effort i wouldn't be surprised if this person professes their love for you very quickly and if you're just left wondering like the tr like is it real and is it true the, the thing about this person's energy though which is like a curveball i can see how in their mind and in their heart they truly believe it right like you are supposed to be mine but when you turn this person down i feel like that's when you'll see that other side to them that they keep hidden that side where they are like it's really stemming from a bruised ego when you turn this person down or if you choose to turn them down, I can see that it is absolutely heart-wrenching for them. And I don't say that to make you feel bad, but you cannot sweep this energy under the rug as the Three of Swords, as the overall like outcome in a sense. Because I don't see you feeling the same way about this person. I think you like, when they're treating you good, I think you like that. I think you may have thoughts on your mind about what could be with them but for whatever reason i don't see you truly be like feeling that same way that they feel because this person feels very intensely for you and i just don't see you feeling that way the thing that gives me pause about them and why i give you the warning in the reading is like when you turn this person down you will see that they have a very ugly side to them someone who could even throw jabs or hit below the belt as it's all stemming from their bruised ego and when this person's ego is bruised their heart is broken but they don't react with tears it's someone who ah they look very vengeful to me like there's no getting around that vengeful energy that i can see within this person and i don't you know i don't want to make you feel worried as if they're gonna do something it's more like i feel like they use their words as their weapon and they'll they'll say things to you you know someone could even say something crazy to you like oh you're just so shallow all you care about is money all you care about is materialism am i not good enough for you do i not make enough money for you because the the ace of pentacles shows me into a lot of different energies it shows me the way that you feel like you can't take this person as seriously as you want and that it also shows me how you feel there's a lack of stability with them and yes maybe that you feel like they don't bring enough to the table but that's not your main reason for turning them down but i see that that could be a factor like you know maybe you want someone that's more uh in the same energy as you as far as your accomplishments where you're headed i know that they're very much hung up on materialism so when you tell this person no or you kind of push back you you know you kind of keep them at arm's length or you're not just saying yes to every little thing they want to do with you because i know they want to try and do a lot of activities with you and sweep you off of your feet and really show you a good time but when you say no to this person it really triggers uh their hidden insecurities and this person looks very insecure about uh their status in life they look insecure about 
uh, the kind of money that they make and what they bring to the table. And for someone here, they could really even try to say something to you that implies like you're just shallow. So you definitely have warnings coming in about someone. It just feels like it's unrequited when I look at the energy. When I look at the energy, Libra, I just see someone who's very hung up on you and has all of these thoughts and ideas about what they feel you should be or the role they feel you should play in their life. But I just don't see you choosing this person. So this fall, you could really end up you know, breaking someone's heart, being a heartbreaker, I don't say that to make you feel bad or guilty about it. You know, you have to do what you feel is best for you. I want to look at that five of swords. It's funny that these two are coming through, the Emperor and the Empress. Aries energy is here, you guys. This could be an Aries coming toward you or your own moon or rising sign or the energy of cross watchers here. The Emperor in reverse, I just, I just feel like it's in reverse because when you look at this person, yeah, there's a lot of things that, you know, when they're treating you good, I think you enjoy that. Like I said, your mind kind of goes to that place of thinking, what if, what could be, but ultimately I feel like you don't choose this person. I think that you feel they're not in the same place as you. And I just know that there's a there's just a high potential for them to just take whatever you say the wrong way because, and, and I'm not saying that that's okay, but when they do that, Libra, just know that it comes from a place of their bruised ego because of how badly they want you. And when you tell them no, they get they get in their own head and they just um feel like they're not good enough. But they are really too hung up on materialism. They're bringing that energy to the table. I'm gonna look at this too. Leo's energy is here. Is anyone thinking of a Leo? Are you Leo's cross watching this reading? Or your moon or rising signs? Or it could be who's coming towards you. Do you see the, the there's, wow. When I see these energies coming through together, this is like pride and ego. And you know something? I feel like one of the reasons why this person wants you so badly, Libra, is because they look at you as someone that will elevate them. They look at you, um, and I feel like it's shallow when I read this person's energy. It's almost like they become infatuated with you because like if I could have this Libra, look how it would make my life look. Look at the status it would give me if I could have this Libra. So this, I feel like this person is actually mistaking their feelings for you because the way that they, the way that they're telling themselves that they feel is I'm so in love. This is my person. But really, it's just like what draws them to you the most is their pride and like wanting you. And you know what? You Since I can see that in their energy, it could be something that uh, as you spend time with this person, you realize that about them, that they may be attracted to you and attached to you for the wrong reasons. And that could even be one of the reasons why you don't choose this person. I want to look at this Ace of Pentacles as I close out the reading for you guys. Seven of Pentacles coming through. I, I just shake my head because... It's like, it's kind of a fine line to walk with this person because I know I see you guys wanting to get to know them and you're feeling them out. So of course you're going to spend time with them and go out with them, have experiences with them. 
it's it, I just see this person falling for you so much harder than you fall for them you know because look at this energy here the seven of pentacles it shows me being very 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 invested so i know that this person will try to go above and beyond to impress you even going above their means to impress you i just feel like what i need to tell you is um when you start to see red flags in this person whether it's in their personality or whatever that looks like to you uh i wouldn't keep um trying to explore it and see where it could go because um this person ends up feeling very jaded by you don't think I'm on their side when I tell you that, Libra. But that's what it's like. Like, I've given so much and I receive so little. Why don't you want me? Um, it's funny that they can try to throw those comments toward you and those jabs at you. But then I can see that they're only atta they're attached to you because what they feel they're going to gain by being with someone like you. I feel like you have the upper hand in the energy. I don't see you being the one that gets broken hearted. I see you turning this person down and them feeling like they're never going to meet anyone else like you because they've never met anyone else like you. And they tell themselves that they've fallen in love, but really it's like their pride and ego that makes them so attracted to you. So you could find that you have a whole whirlwind experience, especially if you are single and this person is coming in, or maybe even if you're involved with this person now, as things play out, out over uh, the fall season, Libra, you may end up deciding that you are looking for something else and, and you may see for yourself that, that this person is attached to you for the wrong reasons. I see you being in the position of power, telling this person no. Okay, you guys, I love you so much. I hope that the reading was helpful for you because I know that some of those messages were not the easiest thing to hear. But that's what spirit is showing me for you guys. Okay. I love you so much, Libra. Next is Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. Let's tap in. Let's see into your love life this fall. What kind of energy is coming in for you? What are your messages? Look at these energies coming through. They, mm, are you, are you going through it with someone currently, Scorpio? Like, are you wrapped up in a relationship or in a situation where things are like rocky between you and this person? Is this a Sagittarius you're thinking of? Because their energy is here. It could be cross watchers watching your reading though, and that's why it's coming through, or your own moon or rising signs. I'll point it out to you. Um, you have some rocky energy coming in for you, I'm not gonna lie. Someone that I can see you let back into your life because this person, um, they're telling you how much they miss you. And some of you could be in a place where maybe you're more vulnerable than usual. Because I just see where this person that you open yourself back up to, and maybe that comes from a place of you wanting love and being lonely. And I don't say that to sound insulting or to judge you, but I just see the energy of like, I'm lonely and I want love. I want a relationship. So I open myself up to this person. And I talk about someone coming back because when I tap into their energy currently, I see someone that really misses you and is thinking about you and like longing to be around you and spend time with you. Longing to spend quality time with you, like even spending time over each other's houses and, and things like that. 
So I see you open the door to this person. Just be careful of that, especially if, if you know, it's already ringing alarm bells for you for as far as who you're thinking of, because it just feels like when you open the door to that person, they bring a lot of turmoil. I mean, this is not something that you just want to dismiss. The Nine of Swords. That's someone who, you know, don't let anyone that brings drama in. If you feel like you are lonely and you're looking for love, Scorpio, don't settle. And I don't say this to sound insulting to you guys or to imply that you would do this or like that you don't know what you're doing. But I have to put this out there because it's advice coming through from spirit. Even if you are lonely and you want um, someone like a companion, you want company, don't just let anyone in for the sake of companionship and company. Be choosy because I can see you open the door to a lot of drama. There's a possibility that this person could bring a lot of drama and just like a headache into your life. It could even be someone that just has a lot of emotional baggage that they're bringing in. So definitely be choosy as you pick who you want to spend time with. It just looks like this person. And, you know, I talk about those energies and then even the six of cups is coming in reverse. That that definitely shows me into the past, coming back into the present and into the future. The It's funny that there's those. Do you hear that alarm? The fire truck. I feel like nothing that happens in the reading is a coincidence. It could be like alarm bells for someone here. There he goes, getting comfortable. The wheel of fortune and temperance is in reverse. It just feels like it's a big warning to you from spirit saying that's not right. Don't go for it. Don't pick that person. No, 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 no. It's just honestly, Scorpio, that's what the energy is like. The wheel of fortune's in reverse. Shows me something is off between you and this person as far as the timing even. Like it just looks like it's not right. Yet I see where there's a possibility of maybe maybe are you on the rebound i asked that question out of curiosity because when i see energies like this for someone who feels uh mad that they've been uh taken advantage of or like there're just a lot of things is triggering feeling like my kindness was taken for weakness like it could be a really good time for some of you if you are single to just um, consider working on yourself and just doing you in, in the fall. Rather than like letting someone into your life that's bringing unhealthy energy because there's it's a lot of drama it looks like. And even someone that you could end up going back and forth with like together and apart, make up, break up, like I can't be with them, I can't be without them. But there is something very off about that person's energy, like off as far as it's not meant to be and it's something that is, a, is, a, is history repeating itself for you? I ask that question because when I see a cycle like this, there could be a pattern that you're meant to break this fall. That's what that's about. And however that resonates with you is very personal. So I'll leave it at that. I can just see a loneliness and letting someone into my life because I don't want to be lonely. But then this person that I'm letting into my life is doing more harm to me than good. Kind of making my head spin. They're making me second guess things, think about things that I don't want to think about. They're bringing drama into my life and it's making me feel like I'm losing sleep. So then I cut them off, but then I let them come mm -hmm. back in. So like I said at the beginning of your reading, um, there's like a, a rockiness on the horizon, but it's not a choice that you have to make. You know, if you resonate mm -hmm. with this energy, Scorpio, like I said, it could be time for you to break a pattern that you keep getting into just because this is one kind of you know lump sum of experiences and a particular person that i can see coming towards you doesn't mean that you have to let it consume your whole love life in the fall i feel like if you want a straightforward message from spirit don't entertain anyone 
that you have a past rocky or tumultuous experience or relationship with, don't entertain that person. Don't let that person back into your life. When it comes to opening up the door to the past, I would be very cautious about that. Or if you just want to look at this energy as recognizing your own patterns that you want to put a stop to. And if you're single and looking for love, I feel like be very choosy. Don't accept someone into your life just out of, you know, wanting company. Because that person could do more harm to you than good. Emotionally is what I mean by that. Just keep your standards high. And don't feel like you have to let someone into your life based out of guilt or feeling bad for this person. Because you don't want someone to uh, come into your life and bring you into a low vibration because this, this person's energy looks like they're in a very low vibration. Look at, you can even see the turmoil. Look, they're just hanging their head in shame. And there's just like a lot of loneliness in this person's energy. So even be careful for someone that could be coming toward you, Scorpio, that is on the rebound. If someone is coming your way that just got out of a relationship, I would say to be very leery about that person because they definitely need a lot more time to heal because um, when they're in a low vibration and they have their sights set on you, they could become an energy vampire for you. So just be choosy about who you want to spend your time with this fall. And don't, don't think that um, the one that's meant for you is going to pass you by. It's absolutely okay if you feel like you just want to casually date and not get in too deep invested with someone like that. You know, if, if you don't want to be completely single, then just um, casually date. Consider that and just let someone's behavior just be an indication of the kind of energy they're going to bring into your life. Okay, Scorpio, I know that these have not been the easiest messages to hear, but I want you to know where they come from. It is only a loving place just intended to help. So just take from it what you choose for the reading. Okay, I love you guys so much. Next is Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, your love life this fall. Let's see what spirit shows us. Aquarius's energy is here. It's going to be the end of a difficult cycle in your love life. Whether that's, um, you, you could, you know what's funny about this energy? Is you could even end up reuniting with someone. That's what I can see. Even you deciding that there's someone, because it feels like I can see someone making a lot of effort towards you, Sagittarius. Someone that is trying to offer their heart to you. And I think they want, I think this person broke your heart. And the energy that they're bringing in is like, I want to fix your heart. I want to make it better. I want to make everything up to you. And then you know what's funny is I feel like you're looking at this person like it's too little, too late, the efforts that they're making towards you. And yes, they're making big efforts. You're going to see this person pull out all the stops and be very open and expressive and generous with their time, their energy, their love. The thing about it though is when I tap into your energy, it looks like 
you can't see past what's happened between the two of you, or you just can't see past what you feel this person has done to you. So I don't see you reaching out and taking that person's offer, even though they're putting in their best effort to try and unbreak your heart after breaking it. So you may find closure on a connection. That's what this energy is like with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Wands coming through. That's how I know you find closure on a situation you need to find closure on. Because this person is making the effort towards you, but you're not in a position where you feel like, I better take this offer. No, you're thinking about what they did to you. And you have the strength to tell this person no. And when you have the strength to tell this person no, even though they're putting their best foot forward, you move out of a difficult cycle and you find closure. Because someone is going to realize that you are the one that got away. So they realize that. And they're real, they realize that that's why they're coming back to try to unbreak the your heart and and fix the damage that they caused they realize you're the one that got away and that there's no one else that they're ever going to find that compares to you even remotely it's it's a lot of realizations about you and and what they could have had with you now you have someone that's looking at you and feeling like you're absolutely credible you're incredible you're absolutely perfect there's nothing about you that i would change so that's they realize those things and that's what makes them come forward and put in all this effort but then i feel like you're looking at them and feeling like it's too little too late so you know what happens is you tell this person no you find the closure that you've been needing to find on that situation and you know what you do is you you end up with someone else it's funny because for some of you here, what I can see is, um, of course, you have a history with this person. They broke your heart or they really hurt you. And that's who's coming back in, you know, to try and fix things with you. You tell that person, no, they're totally disappointed. The biggest disappointment of their love life, not being able to get you back. And then, you know, what's funny is, I can, this is for some of you, I can see when you close that door, you have someone also that you have had previous experiences with come back into your life and you look at that person and feel like that's who I belong with, that's the love of my life. For, you know, for some of you here, that makes complete sense for you. You know exactly what I'm talking about with this person that you have on your mind that maybe you feel is the one that got away. And you're thinking about that person. It's funny, when you close one door, you open up another door for this person to come into your life that I can see you feel like is your divine partner but it feels like you're in separation from that person as well. So you have, it's like, it's like you have things coming from different directions, Sagittarius. You have this person over here that's trying to um, unbreak your heart and make things up to you. But you look at it like you're not gonna accept that person's offer. And then when you, when you get your power back and you tell them no and you close the cycle with that person, you close the door to that person, that's what opens the door for this other one to come in. Because it, it undoubtedly, for some of you here, this is a person that you are in separation from that comes back into your life that you feel is who you truly belong with, like your divine partner, your true partner. So you know what happens for you, no matter what the circumstances are, what happens for you this fall, Sagittarius, is you end up feeling like you're, you realize who you belong with, and there's not a doubt in your mind about this is where I belong. This is my lifelong partner. This is my person. Because what ends up happening through all of the little things that are intersecting in your reading, all the different energies, what ends up happening for you is you feel like I'm on the right track and I'm with exactly who I belong with. I feel like this is my forever person. We see eye to eye, we support each other, we get along, we have the same goals, the same dreams. 
So for some of you, it's very beautiful news that they're coming back. You know exactly who I'm talking about. They're coming back and the two of you are going to make things right and end up right where you belong. All right, that's what I can see going on. Now, for others of you, it doesn't matter how everything plays out. I know that sounds kind of funny when I say it, because what I, what I want you to take from this reading is you end up putting an end to a difficult cycle because you make the right choices. There is someone that you will tell no and tell them it is too little too late. And then you open yourself up to receiving your divine partner. That's what happens in the fall is that's ultimately what I want you to know is you end up feeling like you're right where you belong, who you belong with. So a lot going on for you guys. Some of you know exactly who I'm talking about, these two different people. But for others of you, I'm not going to take it away from you if these are completely new people that come back into your life. Because where there is this energy of someone returning to you, this could be your, your divine partner that's returning to you in this lifetime. No matter how you look at it, you guys are going to end up uh, finding closure and peace. Okay, Sagittarius? Big, big turnaround for you in your love life. Okay, I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed the reading. And next is Capricorn. All right, my beautiful Capricorn. So this fall, what is coming in for you? What are the experiences coming your way in love? You know, these two nights are interesting to me because that's like about kind of like working through and trying to find my path and, and, and figuring out where I belong. This five of swords, you know, I think you have to be careful for someone that might really have their ego bruised when it comes to you. But but this reading is general, so I kind of have to give a, a little bit of advice from spirit. And I'll say this, Capricorn, don't let your ego or your sense of, you know, pride make you feel small. Or don't let that get in your own head where you start to question whether or not you're good enough for someone or you're second guessing things. Okay, I just have to put that out there because that's what I can see happening with somebody. I can, I, when I step into both roles, I'll, I'll describe it to you because someone on the receiving end of this energy feels like the person they're dealing with is um, not tr like confusing them. Because it seems like things are going slow and steady at times and like we're heading towards being in a committed relationship. But then it feels like this person does a 180 on me and they switch up on me and their behavior changes when it comes to me. And you know where that's stemming from? Their ego and being in their own head. And even feeling like I need to save face and I need to come across a certain way because I want to, someone, someone here is too caught up on what other people are saying to them about this person that they like and that they want to pursue and even trying them and making them feel small. And I can see where that gets in this person's head where they start to think, you know what, maybe I'm not enough for them. Maybe I'm not good enough for them. But that's not true because if this person really felt like the other one wasn't good enough for them or enough, they wouldn't be involved in talking to them and, and dating them and spending time with them. I feel like someone needs to let 
their love interest actions just speak to them rather than getting in their own head and like letting their ego take over and listening to outside advice just go based off of what this person is showing you because i feel like what i can see happening is this person here that's in the empress's energy is absolutely showing the other one like that they're interested Oh, but it's just they keep they keep backing away because they're they're overthinking things. That's really that's really what it is. And when they back away because of overthinking things, of course it makes the person in this empress's energy second guess things. It's just like there's miscommunication, the potential for miscommunication between you and a love interest. So that's why I give the advice uh, from spirit. To, for someone to not let their ego get the best of them or even let someone be in their ear, like trying them or just doing doing things to kind of, you know what? Be careful of this, Capricorn. Someone that doesn't have your best interests at heart and could even want what you have and is just trying to say things to you to make you second guess whether or not you're really good enough for that person. I have to put that out there because that's what I can see. Maybe it's just better to take things slow and steady, but steady, emphasis on the steady part, because what I can see causes blockages for you in the fall is inconsistency. Whether it's you being inconsistent with someone that you're interested in or you feeling like someone that you're interested in is, is switching up on you and being inconsistent. It's like creating more problems than there actually needs to be because I can see through all the different layers and I will tell you that you have someone that wants you, likes you, and is interested in you. Yes, this person brings a lot to the table because the Empress's energy is someone who is very mature, very stable, someone that is ready for a serious relationship. And they're just a serious person overall. They take life seriously. They take love seriously. They're in a very high vibration as far as what they bring to the table as a partner. And then the other person in the connection is just trying to find their footing. That's why these knights are coming through like that. Trying to find their footing. And I just know that there's potential to misinterpret things between you and this person. That's why there's so much emphasis here coming through from spirit about communication. And not listen. The, the best person to find answers, like if you want answers, get them directly from the person that, that you're involved with, not through outside um, advice, not even through tarot. You have to be careful even, um, don't keep watching a whole bunch of different tarot readings. I have to give you that advice, Capricorn, because if you want to know how this person feels about you and their intentions towards you, their actions will show you that. Also, if you have those questions, ask them directly instead of Getting advice from someone else, an outside source. Because around that person, you know, whatever you find attractive about them, I'm sure, you know, if you resonate with this energy, like what you find attractive about them, you could be thinking about um, how other people are attracted to this person as well. And I feel like if you resonate with that energy, Okay, be careful of that because if you feel like there's other people attracted to the person that you're interested in, how do you know whether or not they're really giving you good advice when it comes to that person? You don't really know that they may not have your best interest at heart. That's why I'm stressing the point to you. Like if you have questions about this person's intentions towards you or how they feel about you, just ask them. I, I'm telling you this because I see a whole lot of confusion on the horizon for some of you here, and that is the best way to cut through it all. And also for you to not second guess yourself because, that, like I said, through this person's actions towards you and how they treat you, that's going to tell you exactly how they feel about you and what they want with you. The more consistent things remain, 
the better off the connection will be. Really try to avoid going days or even like a whole week without communication. That's one of the worst things in trying to build this because this feels like a connection where you're trying to build things with someone or establish it or figure it out. Or it could even be your current relationship where you're trying to rebuild things with someone. Communication is going to help so much. Steady communication. And I give you these warnings to be careful of the advice you choose to take from others. Because I feel like you you may have someone that doesn't that could want what you have and, and doesn't have your best intentions at heart. And I have to like stress the fact that. When you feel like you're vibing with this person and you feel like there's a connection, that, that's real and that's true. Don't walk away and second guess things because second guessing it causes blockages between you and this person. Because I read things from both perspectives, Capricorn. I put myself in one person's shoes and the other person's shoes and I, I can see how it looks to both parties. Okay, so it seems like in your love life, you could run into misinterpreting things, confusion, and like receiving um, advice from someone that doesn't have your best interests at heart that could really trigger your ego. I have to tell you this, like what the two of you want from each other, what the two of you want from each other is a relationship. It's not to have something that's just shallow, physical, sexual, a weekend thing, something that's just all about uh, the sex. That's not what that's not what I can see. I can see what the two of you want from each other is to be in a relationship and be and have a commitment and have something that is smooth and steady and stable. I can just see where there's a, like outside interferences and even someone um letting their own mindset throw things off track. The best person to go to for information is the one that you're involved with. I have to stress that point because it can save a whole lot of confusion for you this fall. Okay, Capricorn, I love you guys so much. I hope that that was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Next is Aquarius. All right, my beautiful Aquarius. Let's see what's going on for you guys this fall. What's coming in for your love life? Capricorn and Sagittarius is here as well as Gemini. That's funny because I wonder if there's like a Sagittarius Capricorn cos person here or maybe who you're thinking of. One of those signs, perhaps your own moon or rising sign or cross watchers here. I'll mention those energies because they're coming through. This, this almost looks like it's kind of confusing to be honest with you. And since when I look at this energy, it's confusing. I know some of you could kind of feel like you're being confused or you're confused or you're at a crossroads or you're not sure which direction you want to go in. That could, that could be the case. Are any of you in a long distance relationship with someone you could actually end up traveling to go see this person. Spend time with this person. It just feels like there's something that's kind of forced about it. And I'm not saying that to be insulting in any, any way at all. It just feels like there's something forced about this energy. Like I'm putting in the effort to go see them. Wanting to take things to the next level where it's consistent and stable. I see that. 
But then in the middle, I feel like there's a very self-centered energy. So some of you might find that, you know, you, you may feel like you're the one that's putting in the effort and like you want so much more from this person as far as taking things to the next level in a relationship, because that's what I can see. The night, this is very sexual energy. This is actually very shallow energy. It's shallow in the sense of like, maybe being caught up in someone for the wrong reasons. Being caught up in someone because uh, like, they're looked at as like hot or they're looked at as like sexy and like wanting that to be so much more than it's actually going to be. So I have to ask this question, Aquarius, is there someone that you are crushing on? And what are the reasons you're really crushing on this person? I don't say that to like, you know, put you on the spot, but it's just something to think about because I feel like someone needs to be really careful to avoid confusing love and lust because this energy is very lustful. It's not... It's not love. It's all about satisfying my wants, my needs, my urges, and even satisfying my ego. So for some of you, I think what Spirit is telling you to, to um, pick and choose who you want to be with wisely and maybe not, you know, think about why you find yourself so invested in someone. Because what I can see happening is... When it comes to this person, I think you want them. I think you're very drawn to them, attracted to them. There's definitely karmic ties between you and this person. But I don't see you being in love with them, Aquarius. I feel like you might even confuse those lustful energies for it being so much more. Because I see the ways that you might... Kind of lower your standards when it comes to this person. I don't want to sound rude or insulting when I say that, but the Queen of Swords is coming through in reverse. That's like you accepting things that you normally wouldn't and maybe even doing things and behaving in a way that you normally wouldn't behave this way. And then when I look even further, the lovers are coming through in reverse. You know, these are the lovers on both cards, the devil and the angel right there. It's like someone... Someone seeing that, you know, I'm wrapped up in this person for all the wrong reasons. Like I thought it was so much more, but then when I walk away or distance myself, I see that it's something that is just like a stroke to my ego. I look at you as the one that's making these decisions. So I read it for you like in that position of power. But when I see these kinds of messages, Aquarius, I'll, I'll give a warning. If you feel like you're on the receiving end of it, it's just to, to try to remain grounded with someone. Because I can see where there's so much lustful energy and so much chemistry and like the physical and sexual side of things is out of this world. You might even be telling yourself like, I'm so in love with them, but I don't think you are. I feel like you're um, attracted to this person and it's, it's lustful. It's physical, it's sexual, but it's not actually being in love with them. It's just like this person satisfies you, strokes your ego, satisfies you physically and sexually. Like, cause there's something about how, how you can't get enough of this person's attention. But I give you this warning because it feels like some of you could take it to a place where you become very wrapped up in them and you're thinking about maybe like even having a future with this person where honestly, this energy is very fleeting and very shallow and this is not someone that you're going to have a future with. I feel like this is maybe more of a singles vibe kind of thing. That's what if that's what would make the most sense to me is if you're kind of dating around and trying to figure things out with someone. But I have to say this for anyone that knows that they're in a relationship and you're tempted by an outside influence, um, don't put your relationship in jeopardy for that because it's it's a karmic lesson that's there for you. 
it's something that's very tempting and very lustful but think about what you're putting in jeopardy to just embrace something that's very shallow and fleeting i don't want you guys to think i'm judging you but but there are a lot of warnings coming through from spirit it's not the easiest. I know I can sit here and tell you to, you know, stay grounded. And mm, I can tell you that. But I know when you're going through it, it's, it's different. And it's it's um, realistic. And it's difficult. I just feel like someone needs to be careful around Aquarius's energy to not mistake lust for something so much more. Don't give in to temptation. If someone, if you're in a relationship, a serious relationship, and you have someone that is... Um, offering themselves to you because straightforward that's not going to end well you're, you're going to end up putting your whole connection in jeopardy for something that's not even real or not even true it's more like a karmic situation a karmic lesson so i don't want you to think that the reading is like all bad because i know throughout the fall season, of course, there's a lot of energy here of satisfying sexual experiences. It's very flirtatious. It's very sexy. There's a huge ego boost. So those little experiences will be pleasurable. But then when I look at things as a whole, someone just needs to be careful to not let that like energy carry them off into a place where they're thinking it's going to be so much more. Um, just keep your standards high. If you feel like you're the one that's getting caught up, I know it's easier said than done, Aquarius, but just think about, don't settle. Just don't settle. Don't settle, okay? That's what I can see going on, you guys. I know those weren't the easiest of messages to hear, but when you get warnings like that from spirit, it only comes from a loving place, just intended to help. And I do hope that it does because I wish you guys nothing but the best in your love life. Okay, Aquarius, thank you. I love you guys so much. Now we're going to get into Pisces. So your love reading, Pisces. Let's tap into the fall season, the energy coming your way. What are your messages? Taurus's energy has come through. Is anyone thinking of a Taurus or moon or rising sign, cross watchers? I just got like a like a whole lot of messages coming through about someone that pulls pulls back. Is it really the best choice for you to dabble with this person? Because it feels like you have you have this platonic relationship, right? Or something that that is not romantic currently but turns romantic. But there's something about it where it feels like it feels like it's the wrong it ends up being the wrong thing to do. So if you're thinking about exploring a connection with someone that's in the friend zone, I would reconsider that because I would not want to see you go through what I can see. Like, Because it's like, okay, we cross the line. We have that experience with each other. That creates a whole lot of confusion because there's like, okay, we have this beautiful friendship and we get along so well, but then we... Uh, start to include things that are, you know, we start to include a physical connection, a sexual connection. But there's something about it that feels like I have to warn you against that. So if anyone is thinking about straying from their connection, I wouldn't. 
be careful of temptation because if you're in a connection now, Pisces, you could have someone that um, you start to find yourself growing attracted to this person. It definitely crosses the line, though. That's why that Three of Cups is in reverse. It crosses the line. See, the thing about it is, for some of you here, it's a connection with someone that, that maybe you have a crush on now, but things are platonic. And where I see things crossing the line, what I don't like about what happens is, this person absolutely fronts like nothing happened between you and them. Like you have these passionate encounters it's amazing when the two of you are connected. The vibe definitely feels like it's real. But then when it's all said and done, this person acts like nothing happened between you and them. And even starts to kind of like ghost and, and back away. But around other people, they're pretending like everything is fine and like nothing's happened. So that's why I give you that warning. If you're thinking about exploring something with a friend or if, the, if it just gives you pause already. If when, you know, you're thinking about this person, if you resonate with this energy, you're thinking about them and you kind of want them and you want to see where things could go, but you have that little inkling in your gut, like, should I or shouldn't I? And the answer leans towards, I probably shouldn't explore this. Follow your intuition because I, I feel like your, your intuition is telling you to avoid it. Though, for some of you here, I can see where there's a chance that you don't listen to your intuition and you end up exploring this connection with someone that you really felt like I shouldn't. And then what happens is I don't like the way they put you in this position where you feel like you're doing everything wrong or, you know, you're reaching out to them to find out what's going on with them to check in on them. And they're acting like super defensive with you or they're acting like nothing happened between you and them or they're just like really backing out of things. So in the fall season, Pisces, I feel like your message from spirit is to truly trust your intuition and your gut. Because if something tells you no, don't do it, listen to what that is. Because you could really avoid this, this set of circumstances that I can see. Where if, if you have a friendship with someone and you, you guys cross the line, it could really ruin the friendship. Because after they pretend like nothing happened between you and them, or they, 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 they truly distance themselves or they pull all the way back, you're going to start to look at this person in a completely different light. You're going to start to look at them and feel like they're just playing games with your heart, like they can't be trusted, that this person is immature, that this person is just a clown. You're going to look at them completely different. So I feel like you're getting a huge warning from spirit. If, if something is telling you no, listen to what that is. Don't, don't cross the line with anyone that's a friend and platonic. Don't let that cross the line because it's just going to result in a very confusing experience and even ruining a friendship for some of you here. And for those of you that are in a relationship, you know, I see a lot of temptation around you. You know, we're all adults here. I'm not going to judge what you have going on. I just see a lot of temptation around you and someone who is um, in your inner circle where there's a chance to really cross the line with that person, end up even having an affair with that person or cheating with that person. I can see temptations around you. And obviously, if you're in a relationship, you you don't want to um, let things intersect. Like if, if you're in a rocky relationship 
and you do you're technically still with that person you have someone that's tempting you pisces you will be so much better off to break away clean and then embrace that i would really try to avoid like intersecting connections where i if you're in a rocky place you have someone that's tempting i i really i really would not i mean i just have to tell you what spirit is showing me to avoid any of that to avoid temptations and follow your intuition follow what your gut tells you in the fall season because i can just see a whole whirlwind of experiences i know i can sit here and tell you very easily like what happens but it's another thing when you experience it you know if you resonate with this energy when you experience like crossing the line with that person and doing things intimately physically sexually how that feels how the rush of it all but then when you encounter this person again for them to act like they don't know you or to act like nothing happened that's not something you want to experience and the thing about it is from the very start i can see where you feel like you shouldn't embrace it anyway that's why i'm stressing that point to you i have to say this warning for others of you here if you resonate with it I have to talk about this because there's definitely cheating on the horizon. Some of you have already been suspicious of your person seeing someone else, dealing with someone else. When you, uh, when you confront them or you ask them about it, when this person becomes super super defensive like in a way that is odd and awkward that doesn't it, it's uncalled for because you could just approach them with something very lightly and they go off the handle oh what are you accusing me of now blah 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 if you already have your suspicions let that really speak to you because if it's totally unwarranted the way that they become so defensive as i can see and they start to become secretive about things and you just feel it in your gut like they're hiding something from you trust your intuition because you know if you're already dealing with someone that's unfaithful and has been unfaithful in the past and you feel like you're you, you just keep thinking about that and you feel like something is triggering you to bring those feelings up about of something is wrong you really need to trust your intuition because I, I definitely see for someone here, your suspicions are correct in this person. This person is cheating. You know, however you categorize that, they're, they're crossing the line, things that they wouldn't do in front of you. So on, on that note, trust your intuition as well. And if they blow up, unnecessarily and even try to flip things around where they won't speak to you or they block you because of something that you are thinking of pisces that is going to tell you everything you need to know about this person's uh guilt because I feel like they'll try to flip it all around and put it back onto you somehow. So these are coming through these messages for you to not be manipulated by this person. For those of you that resonate with someone that you are suspicious of them being unfaithful to you. Or if they have been unfaithful to you and you feel like you're experiencing something with them all over again. All right, you guys. So I feel like your reading is all about you trusting your gut and your intuition in the fall and really listening to that. All right, Pisces. I love you guys so much. I know those weren't the easiest messages to hear. A lot of warnings have been coming through, um, but just take from it only what feels right to you and just know where it's coming from. Never a malicious place or a bad place, only a place of love and light just intended to help. Okay, Pisces. I love you guys so much. Next is Aries. Let's tap in Aries. Let's see what's going on for you guys. The fall season, your love life, your messages. Okay. 
the overall energy, the Eight of Cups and the Five of Cups, your Aries energy is here as well as Libra. Are you thinking of an Aries, another Aries or a Libra? Could be cross watchers watching your reading Libras or your own moon or rising sign and maybe even someone coming towards you because the overall energy in your love life shows someone trying to get back into your life really putting in a lot of effort to make things up to you and make things right with you someone that at one point in time you you're gonna see how the tables turn you that's really the best way to sum it up with someone trying to get back into your life and now the tables turn so they're bringing in the energy of doing the things for you that you did for them treating you the way that you treated them and like wanting to show you the things that you showed them especially if you resonate with this energy of someone that you put in a lot of like you just put your heart into the connection and you gave wholeheartedly to this person and you just wanted to you know reassure them and let them know that what they mean to you and how your heart was so with this person and if you felt like they didn't embrace you the way that you deserved or they even gave you the cold shoulder at times or you just have to bear the brunt of this person's bad mood and, and you just feel like overall um they didn't treat you the way that you deserve if you resonate with that i see the the tables really turning with that person and that's who's coming towards you in the fall season trying to make everything up to you trying to make it right with you so you'll even see how they repeat some of the same things that you did. Like think to the special things that you did for this person. You're going to see them do those things for you, like kind of mimic you. It's it's the way that they feel they're going to show you best how they feel. Like, you know, see, you did this for me and I remembered that. So I want to do it for you because I want you to know what you mean to me and how I appreciate it. For some of you here with the queen of swords even coming through in this spread you are not gonna make it easy on them i don't see you feeling like you want to embrace this person with open arms something you turn something off in your mind and in your heart when it comes to this person you have your defenses up because when you were with them before in contact with them i can see you were very giving and vulnerable with this person so you kind of look at it with a bit of skepticism and even though the tables have turned and they're telling you all the things that you told them you're gonna see you're gonna see yourself mirrored in this person but you back then it's so funny isn't that funny because it's like wow that's really funny because what spirit is showing me is like a role reversal in a different time, if that makes sense. So the way that you were, I don't want to sound insulting when I say this, but how some of you here were very like desperate for this person's attention because you love them and you wanted to give them, like you wanted to prove yourself over and over to them. So you gave of yourself very willingly and, and openly. And you felt like you were met with someone that was either stoic or cold or just um, didn't appreciate, didn't love you the way that you wanted to be loved. It's so funny that the tables turn and now you guys reverse roles because I see this person playing that role that you played before. And then it's funny that I see you playing the role that they played is that really what you want to do though it's just something to think about because because you know you'll do what you feel is best for you but i have to put this little note out there from spirit now that the tables have turned do you really want to treat this person the way that you feel they treated you back then just think about that and decide for how long just decide for how long you want to be in that energy of being cautious when it comes to them, making it difficult for them, not embracing them with open arms. Because, you know, I will say this, life is short. And if you've been wanting this person 
to come back around and if you wish that the tables would turn and like they would come back into the picture and treat you the way that you treated them and say the things to you that you said to them i can see that happening for you this fall season um don't let yourself become too hardened in your heart when it comes to someone that deep down you truly wish for that you wish for the tables to turn and deep down you truly want to embrace this person think about your heart and what you want don't worry about uh, what others think about your decision to take this person back don't let anyone be in your own in your in your ear and say that you should do this or you should do that you have to follow your heart and you have to do what you feel is best for you when it comes to that person because it's funny for some of you that that's a wish that you you wanted you wanted that to happen you wanted the tables to turn and I'm telling you that when they come back and you see the tables have turned, this is not an act. This is real. It's them realizing things about how they didn't treat you the way that you deserve to be treated. Now, do you really want to go ahead and treat that person that way? You'll do what you feel is best for you, Aries. But I just feel like I need to put that advice out there for someone to follow their heart and not become too hardened if they're actually getting what they wanted from this person, but it's just at a later time. Don't um, do, don't, just do what you want to do and don't care about what anyone else has to say about it. I need to put that out there. Because I know for some of you here, you want to come across as strong. You want to come across as um, like you're in control. But even though you still have a sense of weakness when it comes to that person, because all the while wishing that they would show you these things. If the opportunity presents itself and you need to fill them out for a bit, okay. But then don't stay hardened for longer than necessary if that's really not where your heart wants to be when it comes to that person. Because it's an opportunity that's coming back around again. And I will say this, when I look even further down the line, even if you say no to them, you would fully embrace this queen of this queen of uh, swords energy. You block any efforts and attempts they make to reach out to you, contact you, bond with you, spend time with you, and you and you're the one that the tables turn and you push them away this time. I'll tell you this: it's gonna come back around again. It'll come back around again because there's something that's meant to be with that person. So even if you embrace that energy and say no, I feel like in a few months time, the, they'll, they'll come back around again and there'll be another chance for the two of you to open up to each other. Might be third time's a charm for some of you, but like I said, Follow your heart when it comes to them and do what you want to do for your heart. Each, each set of circumstances is different. But if that's what you've been wanting to see from this person and you do see it this fall season, just don't harden your heart to that, to that person. Okay, Aries. That's what I can see going on. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Next is Taurus. All right, Taurus, let's see what's going on for you guys in the fall. What will the fall bring into your love life? There could be a Virgo coming back into your life or a Sagittarius coming back into your life because those energies are here. Could be your own moon or rising sign, I'll mention it. Or the energy of cross washers just like checking your reading out. 
I see a lot of happiness and prosperity for you on the horizon. I see you taking a chance fully on someone. I mean, opening yourself up and really embracing what this could be. Some of you here, for someone, you could even start a family. You, you find that you're pregnant in the fall and you're like fully open to it and embracing it, maybe in a way that surprises you because there's just like you're, you're entering into a period uh, where you're building a legacy for yourself. Like you're entering into this period where the, your future is going to unfold for you. Does that make sense? I hope so because the 10 of pentacles is coming through and then I just see so much energy of going all in and opening myself up and taking a chance and just being fully, fully invested and motivated. So for some of you, you have a person that's returning into your life. I wonder if you've been wanting someone to come back to you because I just see that energy here. The Eight of Cups in reverse shows me someone that you have a history with, very deep feelings for this person. Makes me wonder why they, why you guys parted ways. For someone here, they could have even been deployed or like they were sent overseas or they were sent somewhere else and they moved somewhere else. And that's who's coming back into your life. And that's who you're going to have a future with. For others of you, I feel like this energy can just be emotional where you really see someone's growth and you like or moreover their growth your growth and the growth and potential of the connection because you're going to find yourself in a very serious position with someone thinking about the future talking about the future and like setting up a very successful future for yourselves I just see in the fall season, you feeling like you're on the right track and feeling like super energetic and ambitious and motivated. Like you're gonna, you, the two of you are bringing out the best in each other where you see them making healthy choices. So you want to make healthy choices, challenging each other in the best sense like just putting your best foot forward, both of you. It's mutual. I keep reading both of your energies the same. Where you're mirroring each other and you see like, well, my person is putting in all of this effort towards me and the connection and all of this effort in, in themselves. And I want to do the same. I want to take care of myself. I want to take care and of and nurture my connection. So there is so much spiritual growth and enlightenment on the horizon for you guys. Have you ever been in a place where you felt this open with someone? For some of you here, this is this is a new feeling for you. Feeling safe, feeling content, feeling at peace, feeling open. Connecting with your higher selves, thinking about the past and applying what you've learned to the present and the future. Yeah, for some of you, this is like a first in the connection, this kind of growth. Or maybe a first for you in your love life. I just know that I see you being in a place where you feel like you found where you belong and you're content. And like your your daily life is content and smooth. Your, your home is stable and happy, organized, clean even. There's a lot of emphasis in your reading, Taurus, about... You working on your well-being, physically, mentally, emotionally, um, spiritually, heightened emotional intelligence and spirituality, even prosperity as far as money and your, you know, the way that you make money, being able to pay all of your bills, things being smooth, things being prosperous. So some of you, Spirit wants you to know that um, you have someone coming back into your life if you've been wanting someone to come back into your life. For others of you, it just has to do with this journey that you embark on with this person that you could currently be connected to now. 
because I just see you, I see you retrieving a lot of information and like downloads. And what I mean by that is you are really going to be connected with your higher self and your spirituality. You could even have very vivid dreams throughout the fall season. And in those dreams, you acquire answers and information. Even you might be able to share information that's helpful to someone around you. Like their guides working through your guides to, to give you messages. You're going you're gonna to rise to the next level for sure. Not only you as an individual, but this relationship that I see you in in your love life. You're unstoppable. The two of you together are unstop unstoppable and there's nothing that you can't do, nothing that you can't accomplish. So someone here needs to know that their person is, is coming back in and returning. They're returning to you. And when I look at that message even deeper, have you felt like the one you're with or is this your own energy? Have you felt lost? If you resonate with that, either you felt lost or you feel like your person has been lost, they're returning to you. And I see you guys being like your life is going to be full of happiness, joy and abundance. So it's going to be a great fall season for you. Taurus and not only in your love life but like in your life overall in the peace and clarity that you're gonna find you're gonna find your you that you feel very content yet motivated and energetic and ambitious at the same time full of confidence full of faith full of trust it's very beautiful energy all right you guys that's what I can see going on this fall season I hope that you enjoyed it Taurus I love you so much Next is Gemini. All right, Gemini, let's tap in. Let's see what's going on for you guys. What's the energy like in your love life throughout the fall season? Wow, you know, the, the fighting and the arguing is going to come to an end. Like if you resonate with that energy and you, you feel like maybe you've been fighting for the connection, fighting for things to work, or you and your person have just been, you know, going through a difficult period, a lot of pressure or kind of fighting each other, arguing with each other. I can see all of that coming to an end because this spells the end of a difficult cycle in your love life. Whether it's like just your difficult cycle as an individual, if you're single and these blockages are going to be removed so love can come in because I definitely see you being in a relationship. Or it's what's going on between you and your person and what's, you know, made the two of you grow distant from each other. The Ace of Wands as the overall energy and even look at this beautiful couple coming through. The King and Queen of Cups. That's why there's so much emphasis on you being in a relationship or mending your current relationship. I just see a lot of passion on the horizon. A lot of sexual and physical satisfaction even, but it's just like having such a chemistry and a pull towards this person. So you will definitely be enjoying yourselves, your sex life, things physically and sexually, the intimacy, the passion, the flirtation, the foreplay. All of that is going to be at an all-time high and you are really going to enjoy yourself in the fall season, Gemini. And whoever it is that's been holding back so much, because I see someone who's been so hesitant, like their heart is there, but it's not fully open, if that makes sense. And I can just see the way that this person has been on the water's edge, so to speak, and just like has not let themselves go all in and take a chance. That totally changes in the fall season, like you're going to see if you resonate with that energy, this person does a whole 180 turnaround 
where you see them totally like mellow and loose and open and uninhibited. Honestly, it could even be someone that chooses to engage sexually for the first time. Like I know that's very rare. Um, I know that's kind of rare for someone to have not had sex, like for someone to even be a virgin or maybe even someone that's been celibate all of that energy turns around because there's a, there's quite an emphasis here on the physical and the sexual side of things in your love life. So whoever it is that has been holding back or holding out, that energy completely turns around. So it's like an end to fighting and an and end of the arguing and a lot of love blossoming and growing between you and this person. So if you are single, I totally see you finding someone and being in a relationship. And if you're already in a relationship, I see you feeling like you gain the support that you've needed for so long and like you're not all alone in that relationship anymore. Like you have someone that has your back and you can rely on and you can depend on and even someone that is really satisfying your needs, emotional, physically, sexually, spiritually, because these two are perfect for each other. Who's better for the king than the queen of cups? Who's better for the king of cups and the queen of cups? No one. It's, it's a divine partnership. And it's beautiful that we see this Ten of Swords, I'm sorry, Ten of Wands coming through because that's like a lot of pressure and a lot of burdens that has held someone back. Even if it's just their own emotional baggage and what they're holding on to, it's saying no more and I'm going to drop this. I'm going to release this. I want to embrace. I want to open up totally and move on to the next chapter. So you can actually make a lot of progress with someone in the fall season. Uh, if you're single, I see you getting into a relationship and things progressing very quickly with that person to like the next milestone, whatever you feel that is for you. And for those of you that are with someone now, you're just going to see the way you make up for lost time and things really progress and move forward. I just see so much romance and intimacy and passion a very like heated love affair with someone there's there's a lot of emphasis here on the physical side of things but then like the physical translates to chemistry and just being drawn to them thinking about them can't stay away from them i wonder if any of you have wanted someone to be drawn to you like this what, like if you've been wanting someone to want you so badly and not hold back from you anymore, I can totally see that person opening up to you in the fall season. And if that's what's been coming between the two of you, feeling like they hold back, those are, and it's cause arguments, you're not going to be arguing about that anymore. It really is the end of difficulties and you two entering into a new chapter in your love life. For some of you, I know it's surprising if you're single watching this to hear everything that's on the horizon for you, but this energy does come to you very quickly. You know what's funny about it is if it's, I know we never think about it like this, but if you feel like, oh, I've been ready for a long time to meet someone, to meet my divine partner, to meet someone who's just gonna come into my life and compliment it and fit in so well, have you ever thought that that, you know, if you if you thought about that and you feel that way and you're thinking like, what's going on? Where are they? When are they going to come to me? I know we never really, especially if you never met that person, obviously, we don't think about what's going on with them in their life and their lessons and their daily experience. But if you feel like your love life has been blocked and you're waiting for that person to come in, they had blockages around them that needed to be removed. And that's why this person is coming to you now, because the timing is right. Because they're in a space right now where they can align with you and give you the kind of uh, partnership and relationship that you want and deserve. You weren't doing anything wrong before. You were blocked in love if you resonate with this energy just because this person needed to ascend to catch up with you and meet you where you are so the two of you could finally align. So if you've been thinking about why you've been blocked, 
from love or why it hasn't come in or being really hard on yourself and thinking about if you're doing anything wrong. Have you ever looked at it from that perspective? that you know the person that's meant for you needs to be able to align with you and that they're going through their own experiences and you're not doing anything wrong and you haven't done anything wrong to prevent it from coming in it comes in based on divine timing and i can see that the divine timing comes into play this fall for you okay you guys that's what i can see going on gemini i hope that you enjoyed the reading i hope it was helpful for you i love you so much and next is Cancer. Let's tap in, Cancer. Your love life this fall. What are your messages from a spirit? Aquarius's energy as well as Pisces and and uh, Virgo is all here. I want to say Gemini though. So maybe there's even a Gemini that some of you are thinking of or cross watchers. Are you on the cusp? It could be your own moon or rising sign. I'll mention it because it's coming through. Well, your love life is going to be in a place where you feel it's absolutely amazing and you feel like it's everything that you wanted. Like if you have all of these little cute fantasies about how you want your love life to be in the fall, I see you feeling like you're actually living that and experiencing that because the overall energy for your love life is the star that is amazing because that spirit letting you know that your dreams and wishes are about to unfold and come true and come to fruition and you'll see it you're going to find clarity and direction and you're going to see things clearer than you ever have and you're not going to be confused anymore if you've been feeling confused i actually see a lot of helpful and positive people around you so for someone here you could be introduced to someone through a mutual friend and this person that uh, they introduce you to like a blind date or they hook you up with someone or they say you know i know someone you should meet and they'd be perfect for you that turns out to be an incredible connection for you so if you resonate with that energy cancer or you just find that it unfolds for you throughout the fall season and you have someone that randomly says hey i know someone that wants to meet you or i know someone that i feel you should meet that is something that you you should absolutely say yes to because they're going to connect you with a person that you feel is like a wish or a dream come true in your life. I just see the energy of helpful and positive people around you. So not only do you have love coming in, but I feel you even have new friendships and connections you'll make on the horizon. You know, people that will serve a purpose for you later on. Connections for sure. I see you guys being very um, sociable, going out, having fun, meeting new people. So for someone here, I know it's uh, a person that hooks you up with someone that they know. And for others of you, I just feel like when you're out and about and you're enjoying yourself, you're just out in public doing whatever you need to do, going about your daily life, running your errands, you have someone that comes into your life. It, it could even be love at first sight. I don't want to sound cliche when I say it, but this is looking at them and feeling absolutely awestruck by what you see. Some of you here even, even have a person that's around you now as a friend and this is a good friend of yours like you laugh with this person you get along so well with them i look at them as a friend 
And there's actually an opportunity that arises with that person. Is this someone you're thinking about at work? Because I pick up on that energy as well. You know what's funny about your reading, Cancer, is like I'm going back and forth, back and forth, because you have love coming in from so many different angles. So it's definitely your time to find love or feel like your relationship is really improving and you have clarity. It's meant to come to you. That's why Spirit is showing me all of these different paths that you could take when it comes to love. It's not going to be just one. You have many opportunities because it's like you're you're meant to find love. You're meant to be in love. You're meant to be in a relationship this fall. Or, or like the start of a relationship. Do you know what I mean? When this special person comes into your life. So you are definitely destined to have it, to find it. If you've had doubts, you've had that question, you know, two spirit on your mind, will I ever find love? Yeah, because you're meant to. And it's not, it's something major that you have coming your way because I see you feeling like this person is amazing and your love life is in an amazing place. I think you need to be careful though um, to not get too consumed in it where you start neglecting other things. Just a little heads up, because with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, be careful to not overspend. You know, stay within your budget. I know you may want to, like, buy things for someone or, like, look your best and go and buy new things, kind of, like, going outside of your means. And I don't want to sound insulting when I say that, but everyone has a budget, right? Um, and I can see where you might... Don't put too much focus on materialism because that's not even what matters. What connects the two of you is your souls. Like it's something that, yes, this person that I see coming towards you, you look at them and you feel like they're absolutely incredible. But what really, what I can see draws you to this person is their inner light and their inner beauty. But that's just something that shines from the inside out and makes this person come across as so attractive to you but really what you're seeing and feeling is like their aura and their energy and their soul i know that this is something that's mutual this is not lopsided you feel this way about them they feel this way about you i can just see you kind of getting really wrapped up in this person having so many deep and meaningful conversations with them because not on not only are they beautiful they're very deep and spiritual and intelligent as well when you feel drawn to them when you feel compelled to be around them when you feel inspired by them don't fight that feeling because i can see that this person is coming into your life to provide guidance and clarity and direction. So I see you really falling for them. You two will teach each other a lot of things just um, by being yourselves, showing them what you're into and what you like and, and having these deep discussions that I can see you guys ha having. They learn so much from you and you learn so much from them. So don't fight the feelings that you feel for this person when they come into your life this fall or if the connection you're in now like really heightens because it, it's meant to be. This hermit energy is very deep and it connects to your higher self and your spirituality and like the way that you'll receive um, downloads from spirit and, and you'll see a lot of signs and synchronicities throughout the fall season. It's not a coincidence. It's your higher self and your guides communicating with you. So um, enjoy it and know how special it is and don't dismiss it. And like I said, when you feel so drawn and attracted to this person and you just feel like you want to spend so much time with them, spend time with them. Enjoy, the, seize these moments and seize this opportunity because you have so much fun and laughter and love coming in for you in the fall. So just enjoy it all. Experience it all. Let yourself be present with them. And I just know that it, it's like... The conclusion in your reading is you are meant to find love and be in love and be in an, in an extremely happy place this fall season. So if one thing doesn't happen to work out, 
give it a day or two and another path is going to open up for you that's what i'm saying to you cancer is i see so many paths because you're meant to be very happy and in a happy relationship just follow your heart and your intuition because they're going to match. All right, you have so much beauty and happiness on the horizon for you this fall season. So much for you to look forward to and experience. You may even feel like it's one of the best times in your life this fall season. I see you being incredibly happy, content, peaceful feeling like you're like on the right path and you have direction don't put so much emphasis on materialism because you're you're already so impressive you have everything that you need okay that's what i can see going on and for whatever reason i keep getting this message about how how someone needs to clean their house i don't know why i'm saying this to you but if you resonate with that um and you've been neglecting your home and things are like chaotic and disorganized really consider taking maybe a weekend to get all of that straightened out and organized because once this person comes in or if things like become like very intense when things become very intense between you and this person could be your current person you're not gonna have time to do any of that and it's just gonna keep piling up and getting worse and worse so i know that that's someone's personal message from spirit and they keep nagging at me about cleaning the house so someone needs to clean the house okay you guys I love you so much. That's what I can see going on in the fall season for you, Cancer. I do hope that you enjoyed the reading. Next is Leo. Last but not least, my beautiful Leos. What is going on this fall season, Leo? Let's see the energy coming in. What is the fall going to bring to you? Let's tap into your love life this fall hmm. it's the end of heartache it's the end of feeling sad and depressed and, and even if you felt like there's a black cloud following you or you just have you felt unlucky when it comes to love Look at this energy clearing away from you. It's beautiful. The three of swords in reverse. That spirit letting you know that in the fall season, you're going to do a lot of healing. You're going to feel like your heart is, is complete and whole and that you can love again. And I see love coming in a very serious connection and even your own leo energy is there see that's you getting back to who you truly are if you've been feeling like down or you've been feeling lost or if you just feel like your heart has been broken and you're going through a very difficult time you in the fall season leo you're gonna feel like i'm back and i'm me again you may even have another Leo coming towards you or are you currently thinking of another Leo or are you like me? We have a, like my chart is mostly Leo, sun, moon, rising Leo. So that could be, um, you know, a message to you from spirit if you connect with that. But it could certainly be another Leo that you have coming your way or on your mind. I just see you. It's really the the focus turns to you in the fall season so you have a lot of healing that you'll do from the inside out but then also how you connect with a divine partner this is like a kindred spirit that's someone that you look at that person and you feel like you're, you're me you're just like me how are you just like me you know it's like a twin you could say that you know the whole twin vibe soulmate thing whatever you want to call it leo it's feeling like when you look at this person they are your person my other half who i belong with like we belong to each other we see eye to eye 
we're best friends and we're lovers all in one so it doesn't really matter what name you give to that person soulmate twin flame I don't get technical about that. I know that when you look at this person and when they look at you, you feel like we belong to each other and this is my person. Your search for love is going to be over. So it's a lot of emphasis to you on healing and finding clarity and you figuring out who is right for you and who you belong with. So if you've been searching for love or if in a connection you've been wanting things to be a certain way and be right, I see you feeling content that you don't have to search anymore or think about it anymore or wonder about it anymore. That's why this page of swords is coming in reverse because when I tap into that energy, especially when I combine it with the way I can see some of you have been feeling really hurt and just in search of answers outside of yourselves or outside of the connection, you're going to get to a place this fall season where you just feel so content that you have all the answers you need. You're not going to feel confused or hurt anymore. You're not going to feel like you're not yourself anymore. You're going to feel healed, extremely happy. I see you. I see you being deeply in love with someone this fall season and i wonder if that surprises any of you to hear that you know what's funny about these two energies together what's meant to come back to you is going to come back to you and if any of you here have a person that distances themselves from you they're actually removing themselves so your true person can come in. I know that's not the easiest thing to hear, but whatever's, because for some of you here, you could be thinking about two different people, torn between two different people, not sure which direction you should go in or who's right for you. If you happen to have someone that walks away from you, Leo, know that they're doing you a favor because they're clearing their energy away from you so you can see who you truly belong with. So if you have someone that needs space or becomes distant or like disappears even to find themselves, know that, yeah, they need to find themselves and that's not the person for you. They, they'll they actually reveal who's right for you through their actions towards you. And moreover, if they walk away from you, or like I said, just become distant, that distance brings you great clarity. I know that's not for everyone, but if you resonate with that, then you resonate with that. And I just know that in your love life, Leo, I see you feeling like you're exactly with who you belong. Like, that's just what it is. Not a doubt in your mind. And throughout all the readings I've done for you guys so far in September, um, and even on my Patreon, if you're one of my patrons, I keep seeing that same pattern for Leo. Total and utter clarity and direction without a doubt in your mind that you're exactly where you should be and who you belong with, who you belong to. So if you are single, I see you being in a relationship completely. I see you being in a relationship fast and in a very deep relationship with someone. You know why? Because they bring so much healing energy to you and you're going to be in this place where you feel like you're yourself and you can open yourself up to love again and you feel healed and you feel restored. And once you connect with this person that I can see is your divine partner, you'll know it. Your mind, body, and soul will know it. Deep within your bones, you're going to know that this is the person you belong with. Don't fight that. Follow that. Embrace that. Because I see, like, if, you know, if you do that, Leo, you're going you're gonna to know for sure that you don't need to look anywhere else and, like, you are home and you found where you belong. So I will say this, if anyone is a cross watcher here, just to put it out there. The worst thing you can do is walk away from a Leo in the fall season 
Because with all of this energy being connected to their higher selves and the divine, they're going to take that as a sign. I, I feel like in the fall season, Leo, you may even find that you're looking for signs. You could be watching tarot a lot more. You're just seeing signs and synchronicities as you search for guidance. You will absolutely see them. It's not a coincidence. Don't ignore it. So since Leo is so in that energy of looking for signs and guidance from a higher realm, someone's actions towards them is really going to speak to them. And if someone is a cross watcher, you know, or even if it's you, Leo, and you feel like this reading is reversed for you, the worst thing you can do is walk away from someone if, especially if you want this person and for whatever reason you walk away because they are going to take that as a sign like okay you removed yourself from my life and I think that's meant to be for me you remove yourself because we're not meant to be together I'm meant to be with someone else so that definitely I feel like mm, for those of you that are single you but even if you're not single, you may resonate with what I'm saying. Like, I'm not going to judge you guys for however you choose to take these messages. For those of you that are in a relationship and like that is your permanent relationship, this you feel like you are already with your divine partner, the love of your life, who you belong with. The two of you are going to be back on track and better than ever. Best friends, laughing together, spending quality time together, loving on each other, uh, making love to each other. There's so much intimacy coming in for you. And, and, and you know what's funny about it is if in the fall season... But you may be already experiencing this now where maybe you want to bridge the gap with you and your person. Like if you if you feel like there's distance between us and I don't want that distance, you are going to bridge the gap and be closer than ever. But Leo, if you find that throughout the fall season, your person that you feel you are permanently attached to now, one that you know you're not going to walk away from, I'm talking to those of you now, you find that your person is needing space or going through just things personally, certain challenges, they're, you, they're gonna come back to you. You need to know that. Like, you know, they're, they're gonna take their space because they're connecting with their higher self. And ultimately, they'll come into alignment with you where the two of you will be better than ever, tighter than ever, more bonded than ever. So I have to be specific about that because I don't wanna confuse you. That message is for those of you that feel like I'm with my permanent person, could be my husband, could be my wife, and you're, you know, or just like your steady person that you're committed to. And you know, like you're not going to, they're not going anywhere, you're not going anywhere. If distance comes between the two of you, it's actually a good thing for them and for the connection because you end up in a place that's tighter than ever. And it could even be your person connecting to things that they kept trying to suppress that they finally need to let out for their own healing. They start to look within. They connect to their higher self. They become the kind of partner you've always known they could be. And you guys are closer than ever. I just see you, Leo, feeling like you're back to your old self and like you are your best self. And since you are your best self, you can be a partner on the highest level in vibration. Not looking anywhere else, looking towards your person and feeling very content. So lots of different messages, Leo, depending on what's going on, because I know some of you are with your permanent person now, so I want to read for you as well. I also know that some of you are single and wondering, and then I also know that others of you could be with someone, but having just like a lot of questions about what's meant to be there. The truth will be revealed to you through someone's actions for sure. Because I know that you take that very seriously. Like if you have someone that removes themselves from your life, Leo, and you're trying to figure things out, you know, if you're single and dating or if you're with someone but not really sure if that's your true person, your forever person, 
I can just see where someone removes themselves and makes way for your true person to come in. No matter how you look at it around Leo's energy under the sign of Leo, I see you feeling like you are connected to your divine partner with your divine partner exactly where you want and need to be this fall season. You're going to find so much clarity, Leo. And I'm just so happy for you to see such a healing energy coming towards you where it's permanent healing. It's not putting a band-aid over something. It's letting things truly get resolved, come up to the surface and let out so those wounds from the past can heal and your heart can feel whole again. Some of you know that I'm talking about your person's energy, so I just want to confirm that for you. And if if you've been thinking about your partner the whole time as you watch this, your partner is going to be restored and healed. Okay, you guys, I love you so much, Leo. I hope that you guys enjoyed the reading. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you for being here with me. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next reading.